the other key uh, enhancement on the platform side is support for GitLab. As you know, we already have support for github.com, GitHub Enterprise, as well as Azure repos. But if you are using GitLab as a code repository, obviously that uh, that was not helpful to you. So we are adding support for GitLab, both the self-hosted version, which is the on-premises version, as well as the SaaS version. And the configuration looks something like this. So you start with the settings side, uh, you configure everything uh, for the GitLab Cloud or GitLab uh, hosted repository. Then the next step you do is, is provide or authenticate yourself with that Git repository. So starting with the setting first, then the authentication happens at the user level. Once that is done, you can now leverage GitLab to uh, for earlier uh, CI CD activities for the Snaplogic pipelines. And as mentioned earlier, you can link repositories at the project space level or at the project level. But here I'm going to show you linking the repository at the project level. I'm going to check out from the Git repository. So specify the repository name as well as the branch from which I want to check things out. And as soon as I do that, all the so the pipeline and the associated files are available to me on the Snaplogic Manager. And when I go to GitLab, to the main branch, uh, those are the files that I have. So the experience again is is, is very similar. You have all the features uh, that you have for other Git repositories, uh, but if you are using GitLab, obviously uh, this is. Uh, extremely valuable to you. So if you want access to GitLab or Azure uh, or, or Azure Key Wall, please reach out to your customer success manager and they will be able to help you out.